In this week's episode, 15 pairs of arches are stood up. Hi, I'm Bill England of the Ambler Odyssey's YouTube channel. I'm going to build a 48 foot trawler yacht here in the sea clamp boat shed in the backyard of my Summerside Prince Edward Island Canada home. Getting ready to put up the first couple frames. That uh, scaffolding, I like to call the gallows. <laughs> it's more like a gallows than a scaffolding. Pretty heavy, so I'm gonna need all my family to help move it when it comes time. But... Scaffolding was built just like a layered cake. Two workbenches were stacked to form the bottom layer. Sturdy pallets formed the base of the next layer. The top was a thin layer of OSB over a 2x4 frame for support. Finally, some decorative safety line was added for good looks. Got the first two roughly in position, resting up there. I have a, the 2x6 reg piece um, being supported up there. It's not in its uh, final position, but uh, I have to build a better support to hold the end. Um, so I got the pieces cut for that. Just have to put it together. Well, the arches will sit on top of this two by six ridge piece on top of the knee wall. I have these pieces here just to act as a brace. The arch will rest right here. And then this is a brace between arches. And I've just put those in place as a, as a guide. And this is just the, again, to hold it in once the arch is up and secured, this uh, will come off. Each uh, arch will be secured by a hurricane strap. Essentially, after I remove this, I'll attach it to the knee wall and to the, uh, to the arch itself. You can see I have to move this plumb line is from the edge of the two by six. So you can see I have to move that over. Arches will rest against that ridge piece. Um, they'll be secured to that two by six. And then a hurricane strap over the top connecting the two arch pieces and the ridge piece. And then I'll put a piece of foam over that before I put the plastic on to, uh, to uh, protect the plastic. Look up, look up, look way up. And I'll call Rusty. That's a bit of a flashback to those that remember the friendly giant. But look at that. Three arch frames are now up. Still windy today. Not as windy as yesterday, although the wind has uh, shifted. So it's actually from the west, more from the west. So we have a nice... Um, Wind break over across the road. So I was able to get up there and attach this end frame. And it's almost plumb. Just have a little bit of adjusting to do. 
So you can see I'm about uh, two inches, if that, forward to where I need to be, but that's easy to, uh, to rectify. I'm going to be putting some purlins in now. Um, the purlins are like this, like these pieces here. So there's a one by two and two by two every four feet as you go up uh, that'll help uh, with the rigidity of the frame. Waves a little bit, nowhere near as much as yesterday. Um, I was able to remove some of the bracing, but uh, when I was up at the top of the ladder there, um, resting against that re uh, ridge beam, uh, you know, wind gusts would come up and the whole uh, structure would kind of wobble a little bit. So that uh, was fun. Collar ties connected arches across the ridge beam. Mending plates connected ridge beams. Erecting the arches by oneself required the balancing ability of a circus performer. And sometimes the work site was just more like a circus. And what goes up must come down, especially when one needs to replace a battery.
What does one do when both batteries are dead? Well, you go old school with an extension cord and the rarely seen corded drill. Feline work crew's deft agility skills came in handy when performing quality control. The site foreman, while well, Forecat, was always close by to relay instructions to her apprentices. Wondering how the gallows jumped over the cradle beams? The answer was to turn it into a monster truck with monster tires. At least the tires helped roll it over the beams after jacking up the back end. And finally, 30 arches had come together. Coming up in the next episode, the boat shed gets a pair of walls. For a front row seat on this boat build project, Please like and subscribe to the Ambler Odysseys on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.